हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो न्यू डे न्यू ब्लॉग एंड यू ऑल डेफिनेटली नो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज ब्लॉग इट इज एयर नेविगेशन एग्जाम रिव्यू सो टॉकिंग अबाउट एयर नेविगेशन फर्स्टली इट इज वन ऑफ द सिक्स पेपर्स कंडक्टेड बाई डी डी सी ए इन विच यू हैव टू स्कोर एटलीस्ट सेवेंटी वन मार्क्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड इन ऑर्डर टू पास सो वाई डू वी पायलट्स नीड टू स्टडी एयर नेविगेशन सी नेविगेशन बाय इट्स वर्ड डेफिनेटली सजेस्ट दैट नेविगेटिंग मीन्स टू लोकेट बिटवीन टू प्लेसेज सपोज ए एंड बी सक्सेसफुली ओके फॉर बींग पायलट्स वी डेफिनेटली नीड टू नो सम थिंग्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू नेविगेशन फॉर द प्रॉपर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द फ्लाइट फॉर नॉट हैम्परिंग द सेफ्टी ऑफ पैसेंजर्स फॉर द फॉलोइंग ऑफ रूल्स वी नीड टू नो सम थिंग्स दैट आर रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट इन आर इंडस्ट्री दैट इज the very basic knowledge of earth okay uh, the basic geography of, of earth how does the earth rotate uh, what all seasons do we face because these in turn are related to the weather conditions okay and weather conditions can severely affect an aircraft safety so these are interrelated so we'll come to the other subjects later but these are internally related when i'll give more exam reviews then you'll definitely find out that uh, how linked these subjects are together and how one phenomena dominates other so in navigation we have three parts okay the first one is general navigation that deals with the very basic knowledge of earth and all time seasons weather very basic knowledge otherwise a detailed study of weather and all will come in the second subject that is aviation meteorology now the next part is instruments in aircraft we have a lot of instruments okay so we need to monitor uh, some of the very few some of the very important instruments that are really 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 helpful for the safe execution of flight also the third part deals with the radio uh, radio communication that is the communication that we pilots do with the atc that is air traffic control now these three comprise of air navigation completely in india we need to study these things together and give the exam but uh, i want to tell that uh, in a broad people usually study these things separately like uh, i'll study the general first i'll give the paper then i'll study this then i'll give the paper and i think that becomes a bit easy but yeah in turn also it's all combined then no problem yaar you can clear it easily okay, so let's dive in the video and uh, find out a lot of things that could be very useful in your exams so before i start up with this uh, proper content uh, just one thing that uh, if someone tells you that uh, you know i took 7 to 8 attempts to clear this paper at 3 to 4 then please please don't listen to them they say it's very hard it's uh, just you can't uh, crack it in any way please don't listen to them more than 90% of the people clear this paper in the first attempt though it is believed that it is one of the hardest paper uh, with technical general trust me a paper or something is hard for you until you're not clear with the concepts if you're clear with the concepts then nothing can stop you to clear it in the first attempt okay i personally believe that i have experienced that so don't listen to them even on the internet it says that it takes 3 to 4 attempts to clear a navigation it takes just one attempt just one proper attempt with full focus and dedication and with crystal clear concepts okay so now let's start and i already told you that it's divided into three parts so firstly we'll start with the general navigation which is very basic very easy okay i'll tell you topic wise what is more important what is less important what you can leave for the last day and what you have to study now so uh just take a notepad and start noting this so the very basic firstly you need to be very clear with the definitions okay like uh, longitudes latitudes great circle lumb li- lumb lines because uh, in exam uh, you feel like uh, oh, it's so easy i remember this i'll do it anyways you don't revise them but when it comes to the computer screen on that exam day then definitely it becomes like a 
khichdi kind of okay so you just mix all those definitions uh, in you and you really feel like great circles uh, you, you'll mark the definition of great circle in rem line question it happens it's normal so be clear with the definitions revise them properly even if you know that uh, yeah i know it i know it 100 percent please recheck it once more okay so along with the definitions you should know the very basic that how to find the chalong that is the change of longitude chalat change of latitude the difference between longitudes and latitudes uh, it could be a question like uh, the, what is the basic difference between longitude and latitude or it could also be like what is the basic difference between latitude and grid circles okay so you know you also need to know the examples like uh, what is the example of a grid circle what is the example of a longitude these type of questions along with this now let's come to the grid circle questions numericals see in grid circle numericals uh, um, there could be a possibility that it could be asked in two or three ways but trust me it would not be so hard like uh, you feel like like it's a question which is given to the iit or ge people no it would not be like that it's very easy okay great circles are uh, numericals pe zyada stress nahi diya jayega great circles pe great circles pe bahut basic numericals honge like uh, if uh, zyada agar hard aa sakta hai to sirf ye aa sakta hai that Uh, across the pole across the north pole what is the great circle track and uh, how to find out the very basic uh, great circle track between two points okay isse zyada nahi pucha jayega okay so let's come to another topic that is magnetism see in magnetism uh, very basic things could be asked like the definition of agonic lines aclinical lines isogonals dip angle dip angle is really important please remember it also uh, the very basic uh, could be uh, difference between variation and deviation okay you should know the definitions also how to find them out so if you are not familiar with the formula of variation and deviation then please make a trick like uh, deviation west compass best variation east magnetic least so accordingly you could add or subtract in that manner okay if you know the formula then you can frame your own uh, this tricks and tips okay so keep this in mind and uh, the next thing is see don't waste your time on these things like the what is the secular variation annual variation diurnal variation variation due to solar activity these things uh, will not be asked in the papers okay uh, as per me this would not be asked Uh, the very basic about variation kaise nikalna hai kya karna hai kya hota hai these things would be asked not about this secular annual diurnal these wouldn't be asked so you can leave this topic and let let's move to another okay so the next topic is the navigation computer slide rules and all in today's time you definitely know we don't use the slide rule we directly have our navigation computers with us that is the cx3 Uh, you must be familiar with it but if you are not this is called a cx3 computer okay uh, it must be inverted this is called a cx3 computer and it's really easy to use uh, you have all your buttons here like if you want to uh, calculate your time distance speed fuel heading everything it contains everything in it i'll just show you okay guys so see in this we have so many options here if i select ground speed then see you just have to put the duration and distance you can easily find the ground speed so it becomes very easy for us for to calculate uh, such things now when i go in the wind speed and wind component we have to put the wind speed direction and you can easily find the runway also with the compass heading you can find the variation and deviation you don't have to just uh, make all those things uh, calculative now in the wind correction see we have wind direction wind speed so you definitely know those who are using there are a lot of benefits of cx3 so this was a cx3 and if you guys have it well and good if you guys don't have it no problem i'll put the link in the description below you can order it from there and uh, do carry it with you also you can also carry your scientific calculators in the navigation paper it's only allowed in the navigation paper that they allow you to carry the calculators and all so yeah it takes a uh, it saves you a lot of time and uh, it's really helpful in exam time i must say so next we have our uh, 
तो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज द वन इन सिक्सटी रूल ओके इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अ गुड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक हाई एवर इट इज़ नॉट फिक्सड ओके इट इज़ ट्रूली नॉट फिक्स दैट कौन से टॉपिक से कितने क्वेश्चन आएंगे इट्स ऑल डिसाइडेड बाई डी जी सी ए एवरी ईयर एवरी मंथ एक्चुअली सॉरी एवरी मंथ इट इज़ चेंज ओके समटाइम्स दे आस्क यू फ्राम लॉन्ग यू टू लैटिट्यूड समटाइम्स दे गिव यू द पे लोड समटाइम्स वन इन सिक्सटी रूल बट दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टू स्टडी एंड आई थिंक इट्स फेवरेट ऑफ डी जी सी ए टू आस्क द वन इन सिक्सटी रूल ओके वन क्वेश्चन वो डेफिनेटली बी देयर सो यू शुड बी फैमिलियर विद द हेडिंग एंड ट्रू करेक्शन दैट यू नीड टू पुट इन ऑर्डर टू अपटेन दैट पर्टिकुलर हेडिंग द वन इन सिक्सटी मल्टी ड्रिफ्ट दैट इज डबल करेक्शन यू नीड टू अप्लाई द सिंगल ड्रिफ्ट मेथड्स ओके एंड फॉर दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन प्लीज ड्रॉ ड्राई डायग्राम प्लीज रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूलाज ओके डायग्राम्स हेल्प यू अलॉट इट्स गुड दैट यू कैन डू इट इन ऑन योर इन योर माइंड बट ट्रूली ड्रॉइंग अ डायग्राम रियली इन्हांसिस योर एबिलिटी टू आंसर अ क्वेश्चन ओके यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ मोर थिंग्स इन द डायग्राम दैन यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन एंड डू द क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज डू मेक अ डायग्राम एंड यू कैन सॉल्व क्वेश्चन वेरी इजिली also you should practice these kind of questions like uh, you're flying from a to b you find that a position is 60 nautical mile outward from a and 7 nautical mile left of the required track so what is your track error angle firstly find the difference between drift and track error angle because uh, this confused me a lot in track error it's a different thing and it's in drift it's a different thing okay so be clear with these two concepts and uh, you are good to go then also be very particular about the uh, direction that you need to put the correction okay so that's why i was saying that draw a diagram because uh, you would be very confused with left and right um, on reading the question it seems very easy but when you come to solving it then you become very confused with whether to go left or to go right please draw a diagram you can see it very clearly that uh, what's the true direction okay now a very important topic that is convergence and conversion angle you should be very very clear with the that uh, northern hemisphere mein what is the direction of the rumb line and what is the direction of the great circle okay because um, i used to call that uh, ice cream cone and an inverted cone kind of so you make uh, your own names but, but remember that very clearly because uh, it could be as a northern hemisphere mein what is the direction and um, sometimes they could also ask you in diagram form like uh, they'll give you the two or three hemispheres uh, and ask what is the proper diagram okay rare case question it it hasn't be, uh, been asked but there's always a probability also you should be very clear with the definition of convergence conversion angle you should be really uh, able to find out the conversion angle from convergence also uh, convergence and great circle track may difference how to find out the conversion angle okay so now there's a very interesting topic um, it was my favorite and it's dgc is also favorite they always ask two to three questions from this topic so it is called uh, the very beautiful departure so in departure uh, you should be very familiar with the definition basically okay what is its other name departure is also known as rumb lines okay rumb line distance so in this you can get a question of uh, calculation of departure very basic calculation of departure and also in rare cases also a question is given which is like uh, departure at latitude a is given but they are asking you about departure at latitude b so uh, you definitely know they must be giving you two cos angles so you can uh, do that proportionality uh, method and just find that out okay so now uh, okay let's come to scale scale is a very uh, large topic okay a lot of questions could be asked from this and there's a probability that no questions could be asked from this it all depends on dgca okay so we have in scale uh, it could be very basic questions like uh, you don't need to practice a lot of questions just very basic practice 5 to 10 questions okay they would be enough but keep revising it okay so they could give you the Uh, to find the scale definitely that is a very basic question uh, formula is chart length upon earth distance so you can find it accordingly so for that you need to know the conversion factors that is a very important thing that is how many nautical miles are there in 1 km 1 meter 
uh, how many feet are there in uh, one meter one inch is equal to how many centimeters and all these should be on tips it should be really really uh, you should be very thorough with these things because these things are going to help you in long run as well so let's come to charts okay so chart is also a very favorite topic of dgca a lot of questions may be asked from it or not a single question could be asked from it so in charts you should be very familiar with the basic properties of charts like what's the use of charts charts are made kis basis pe bane hote hain and uh, what are its properties like orthomorphism and all you should be clear with the definitions also what type of projections are there how many projections are there okay आइडियल चार्ट की क्या प्रॉपर्टीज होती हैं नेविगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट्स वॉट आर चार्ट यूज फॉर ऑल्सो स्केल स्केल शुड बी ऑन योर टिप्स ओके ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू द इंडिविजुअल चार्ट द वेरी फेमस इज मर्केटर चार्ट ओके मर्केटर चार्ट में से यू कुड गेट अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इट्स रियली लार्ज टॉपिक in which you have to also uh, you have to find out about the departure okay mercator chart pe you have to find out departure as well also uh, we definitely know the definition okay scale at any latitude is equal to scale at equator into secant and all that you can find it very easily also uh, in rare cases a question could be there like uh, firstly they're asking about a particular latitude then they'll ask about uh, another latitude but they haven't given either of the two so what you are going to do you'll find out the scale at equator first okay using the secant formula uh, and scale at the latitude also you will use that scale at equator formula in the other the unknown latitude thing with practice you going to understand these things just don't worry if you can't get what i am saying with practice you'll able to do everything so in mercator only we should be very familiar with the chart convergence and scale like uh, where does the scale expand where does it contracts where does what is where is the convergence is zero where is it maximum where is where is it minimum okay also uh, you it's a great idea to build a chart kind of flow chart kind of in which you write all the names of the chart and properties like rumb lines grid circles because in each chart it is different so it's very hard to remember this so you have to jot down somewhere so it's better to make a chart it's the best idea i think i also did this and um, just when you are outside the center waiting for the exam to commence just go through it once and it will really help you because last moment pe jo things hote hain i think that uh, stays for quite a longer time that's why everything is same for the lambert and other charts okay you have to make a chart a, a table kind of and just jot down everything like rumb lines and all and uh, do remember the uses of these charts because it could be asked like it is used by sailors it is used by it was used by earlier sailors earlier aircraft so these things should be uh, remembered also conformal charts non conformal okay the difference between the two polar stereographic charts now there's uh, no question ever been asked about polar stereographic charts only the rumb lines and all could be asked in rare cases because mostly lambert and mercator he dono hai jo dominate karte hain all the papers so polar stereographic may say you could be asked about rumb lines and all not the numericals so please don't waste time on numericals it would never be asked in polar stereographic also what's next that's it rest two charts we don't have any uh, uh, what do you call it numericals on that okay transverse and there was one more we don't have any theory uh, we don't have any numericals on that we just have theory and we have already covered in that chart thing okay so let's move to another topic so let's come to a very famous topic of dgca that is time numerous questions have been asked from time okay and uh, the very important thing in this topic is kepler's law kepler's law yeah it's not been remembered for just exams you should remember it uh, for a lifetime because it's very basic we should know this okay also along with kepler's law uh, you should be very familiar with the tilt of the earth because it's been a confusion uh, among students that uh, they confuse themselves between the tilt of the earth and the tilt from the equator that is the equatorial plane or equinoctial plane whatever you say okay so do remember these values that whether it is 23 and a half degree or 66 and a half degree so don't confuse yourself among the two 
also let's talk about the seasons in seasons you should be familiar with the date of commencing of the spring equinox autumn equinox winter solstice and all and uh, just uh, don't confuse yourself like uh, dgc will not ask you a direct question it will ask you a tricky question like if it is 23 and a half degree the sun is overhead 23 and a half degree not then what's happening in uh, northern hemisphere then you will say it's summers but if you the if they ask you what's happening in southern hemisphere then sometimes you feel confused between south and north it happens yaar whether if you know it or not it happens that uh, you sometimes confuse north with south and then you say summers no winters is happening in su- southern hemisphere please remember those things and practice it okay ah uh, yeah please remember the predominance cause of the seasons people say it's because of sun no it's not because of sun it's because of the tilt of the earth uh, these things are really important to remember okay because direct questions have been asked from them in rare cases it could also ask the distance between the sun and the earth and you should remember the values okay the statute miles and all please remember the basic definitions about the plane of equinoctial and equal day and night ka both hain all that things okay and the plane of ecliptic and the plane of equinoctial ke beech kitna inclination angle hai these things are to be remembered now let's come to days and years see these are totally for exam point of view nobody is going to ask them in your uh, flying time and all these are to be remembered just for the sake of clearing exams honestly just for the sake of clearing exams and uh, these are uh, yeah they are in bulk it takes a lot of uh, time to remember these thoroughly but uh, you have to do it there's no option so let's come to the days civil day sidereal day apparent solar day please remember their duration for how long how long uh, it is commenced from what source it, it is commencing and what's the cause and all okay so please do remember about the mean solar time and apparent solar time that is 14 minutes or 16 minutes whatever also along with this please do remember the months in which they commence whether it is november or february these things are direct questions and could be asked in just uh, one shot also uh, let's move to years the same sidereal years tropical years calendar years please remember the durations the cause and the source is not that important okay the length is really important because there is very minute distance between uh, 5 hours 48.75 minutes and 6 hours okay so these kind of things are asked and uh, 19 minutes ka reference hota hai and all whatever the basic thing earth spins in which direction okay and uh, in 15 minutes how many degrees does it go in 360 degrees in how many hours very basic things also uh, don't uh, take your time in this green which are angle questions there uh, there's not been a single question in the past few years just the green which are angle pucha gaya ho uh definition nahi by numerical green which are angle uh, what is in 50 degree west 70 degree west if the paper is not out of course then this wouldn't be asked okay so yeah don't waste your time on these things and yeah very very important it's a short short question perihelion aphelion okay aphelion perihelion kab commence hote hain exact date should be remembered so finally we come to the numericals of time in which you have to calculate the local mean time coordinated universal time these numericals are to be done by heart because these could be asked in very complex manner okay there could be a possibility that ek hard question aa jaye aur wo time se aa jaye so these questions are uh, really important zone time and all standard time and all these are not that important you should remember it by definitions but numericals to local time and utc time pe hi aayenge so practice them as much as you can and just keep your mind clear and calm and you will be able to do it really well and you should be familiar with the sunset and sunrise concepts okay twilight three type of twilights are there kitne degree se kitne degree ke beech hote hain these things are to be remembered also horizon horizons definition should be remembered and uh, if you have uh, in your books if there's a chart like morning twilight sunrise twilight kitne baje se kitne baje tak hota hai these things are not important okay the time is not important the degrees uh, during which it happens between which it happens these things are important so please do remember that and uh, in gridded charts or uh, steering by compass steering by gyro these things are not important don't waste your time on these things okay also now we come to a very important topic that is that 
DGI, direct indicating compass or directional gyro indicator. So it is in that it is really important for you to study the basic definitions of horizontality, sensitivity, aperiodicity because compass is such a thing that will be used in long run. So you should be very clear with the concepts, okay? Uh, deviation kitna hota hai is mein sirf numericals aa sakte hain about deviation and all so now in aircraft magnetism we have deviation compass swing hard and soft iron magnetisms and correction of coefficients see a lot of people have doubt in coefficients it's not decided whether it it's gonna come or not okay i honestly don't know because mere paper mein coefficients aaye the and uh, i had a bad day i couldn't remember and i left that question i remember it <laughs> till now so you should be uh, really good with coefficients just remember the basic values vertical horizontal needs so remember the overall value okay jo bhi formula tha wo cos and sin wala please remember it thoroughly also uh, head in deviation directive force more than earth and east se zyada hoga west se kam hoga these things are not that important okay so you can leave this thing okay so with this we have covered our general navigation portion okay these were the important things that we need to mention and uh, i'm sorry if i left some of the topics but definitely i'll cover in the next part okay uh, where we'll discuss about a lot of things uh, like instruments also are left radio is left and flight planning payloads and all are left that would be covered also i made a cheat sheet kind of thing as you can see i wrote all the formulas on this and uh, just uh, pasted it on my wall so i could uh, just roam and study these things regularly so you could also perform a similar kind of thing and uh, in the end these things help you a lot trust me uh, make it a habit uh, for once you can feel lazy or to write all the things i have it here it's really good that you have it here but you should write something on paper that could be seen every day and just could be revised and repolished okay so these kind of things these habits uh, build a lot in you especially when the exam is near so that's all uh, i have uh, already talked about the air navigation thing and uh, if you guys need assistance and anything more that i could help you please do let me know in the comment section also i just want to mention uh, if you guys uh, want to get the study material or anything like i have also uh, just want to tell i also studied from oxford that is the most uh, what do you call it more in, most informative book that is said to be most informative for clearing of the dgca papers and it truly is so i have uh, my oxford with me also i practice questions from keith williams that is really an important book uh, for numericals also i did some very basic uh, uh, jr atpl question banks as well so i have those things so if you guys uh, want a soft copy of these things then uh, definitely uh, i could provide you with these things so what all you need to do is just uh, message me uh, dm me on my instagram i'll put my instagram id uh, somewhere here is it flashing <laughs> so this is my instagram id dm me and i'll be really glad to help you guys okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, i hope to see you guys next time where we'll discuss about the next part that is instruments okay so thank you so much hope to see you guys the next time and keep flying mm -hmm.